Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Heather. I hope you guys are doing well. Um, normally I talk about dentures and stuff, but I'm going to bring some personal stuff to you guys. Um, talk about what's happened to me, PTSD, the meds the doctor screwed up on, and what has happened. But before I get started, guys, don't forget if you like my content, don't forget to hit subscribe. Click that bell button, click all, because then you miss out on my giveaways, my videos, and everything else. Um, I do do subscriber of the month, so whoever is my top subscriber who watches my videos fully through the most who likes and comments the most and all of that, they'll be the winner of one of my giveaways and they can pick out whatever stuff it is. Um, they can, you guys can win. If you're the same subscriber that has the top one for multiple months, you can win multiple times. Um, I also have a second channel inside the mind of diva. I do more giveaways there. That's vlogging, skincare, every, anything you could possibly think of in a human life is there. Um, so I wanted to talk about PTSD. Um, I would say probably the, Whole year of 2021, <laughs> um, yeah, I would say summer and fall mostly. I went through a lot of traumatic shit, um, stuff that I will not put on here, but I have put on my member page, um, a gist of it to let everybody know what was going on. So my members do know they could check out that video. It's been up for a while. Um, my doctor screwed up. So they gave me a PTSD medication called Remiron. Does it do great for PTSD? Yes. But they did not look into what it actually also treats. It helps cancer patients gain weight. And I'm normally a skinny, small little person. Um, I'm five foot seven, but I'm normally really skinny and small, like super small. Um, when sometimes I can look like a size zero, I'm actually not. I'm a size nine. I just have big hips. Um, but they screwed up. So I gained 40 pounds, literally 40 pounds in a month and a half. I eat once a day. Because I have gastroparesis. And people that don't know what that is, that is when your stomach slowly empties, like, slow. It can take all freaking day for you to eat one meal and to slowly empty. You don't really get that hungry feeling. Um, so it definitely was me not overeating because I barely eat a lot to begin with. It's one meal a day I eat. And I'll have, like, some pretzels. Like, I like the pretzel crackers. Those are my favorite. Because um, pretzels are actually healthy for you. But... Yeah, I got really PO'd on my doctor. So I'm slowly tapering off of Ramiron. And when you do that, you get bad side effects. I haven't slept a good night's sleep, guys, and I would say a month. Well, I normally don't. But, like, I get nightmares every hour. I go to sleep. I wake up. Bad and I'm vivid. Vivid, scary as hell, homicidal fucking dreams. It's insane. And now that I also get insomnia, my, you know, nausea, my anxiety is back. Everything is back full flow. Like, she's like, well, I can, they're going to give me a diet pill. They had to check my kidneys to make sure they're good. Because with autoimmune, especially with lupus, it affects your kidneys. Um, and they're going to, you know, put me on a diet pill. I'm like, but you guys, I already eat less. That's not my problem. It's the fact that my body cannot lose the weight. So you have to put me on a specific medication. Because Topamax, that's normally used for like seizures and like migraines and stuff like that, can be used as a diet pill to make you eat less. Well, I don't have a problem eating less because I already eat less. Um, and I exercise more than 10,000 steps plus a day and I go to the gym every day. And I still cannot lose any weight. Nothing is coming off of me. Like it is shitty. So all I can tell you guys is be your best own advocate. If a doctor gives you a medication research it don't also be like don't come at me for saying this but there are hypochondriacs out there that i always tell people don't read the side effect sheet because you'll cause it on yourself mentally you'll panic thinking the side effect is going to happen to you and then you're going to think you're going to die you're not going to die i swear you're not going to medications affect everybody differently but if you start at a slow dosage with any medication you can see how your body's going to react. Your side effects would be minimal. Your body can get used to the medication because it is a new chemical going inside your body and it takes time. But I always tell people, you know, if you can handle looking it up without over dramatizing it, look up your information and make sure it's used not only if it's for that, if it's used for other things. Because when my pharmacist and my oncologist told me that it's given out for cancer patients to gain weight, I was like, did she know this? I'm like, are you kidding me? And my nurse to my doctor, she was like, yeah, the nursing home, they give it to people to gain weight. She's like, I don't know how she didn't know that. I don't know how either. But 
when you're in chronic pain and you have a ton of autoimmune, my back is like a 90 year old construction worker back. Um, yeah, my back is all torn up. It's messed. But when you have 40 pounds of extra weight so rapidly caused and you have that on your back, I'm now in a hell of a lot more pain than I ever was. Losing the weight makes a difference in chronic pain. It really, really does. Because when I always stayed small, my pain was a hell of a lot less. When you gain the weight, it puts more pressures on your joints, muscles, tendons, ligaments, everything in the nature. Even if you have like slip discs like I do and bulging discs in your back and neck, like again, I do, um, the heavy weight causes major issues. And my sleep apnea is back. When I lost, when I gained weight once before, but then I lost it real quick, um, I ended up with sleep apnea. When you gain weight and you're overweight, you can get sleep apnea. So you definitely want to see your doctor to get a sleep study test done and have all that. Um, but yeah, all mine's back again. So I actually talked to my doctor today to discuss about medications. But I can't even get into, guys, how many times I've tried to get into, because here in New York, I don't know how it is for everybody else, but here in New York, you have a therapist and then you have a prescriber. I don't know why they do that because that prescriber doesn't know shit about you and they're handing out medications. It should be the same doctor. That's my preference because at least a doctor that knows you knows better and what meds will work better for you, um, especially as a person. But I've been trying to get hold of a, of a prescriber who knows about the medications more than my primary does and I can't. Nobody calls me freaking back. Nobody does. So I'm giving up on PTSD meds altogether. If I lose my shit, so freaking be it. But I need to drop this weight as soon as freaking possible. So I'm letting everybody else know that if you ever go on Remiron for PTSD, for anxiety, for depression, whatever you go on, because different dosages do different things, um, please note that you can gain an obscene amount of weight. Not just 5 to 10 pounds. Like, you know, when you go on birth control or like some anxiety meds like Ativan and, and Valium and all that, can make you gain 5 to 10 pounds. No, this makes you gain an obscene amount of weight in a fast period of time. I don't even know how I'm gaining the weight if I don't eat that much. Like, it just doesn't make sense, you know? Even in my coffee, I took out the sugar, and I'm now using equal. But it just, be your best own advocate. Speak up if you think something's not right. If you don't want to take a medication anymore, say, let's wean me off. I'm done. I'm done. Because this is not benefiting my health. It's actually causing me more pain and more bad than actually good. And if we're supposed to have a good quality of life, I have nine autoimmune diseases. Nine. Three of them are rare. That can actually kill me at any given time. So with all this shit that I'm going through, you're going to add on a medication that is going to make my quality of life worse. My pain level. You guys, I can't stress to you my pain level. Like I can lay down and my legs will freaking kill me because that's the extra weight sitting on my bulging disc causing pain in my freaking legs and back. It sucks. It sucks beyond belief. And the one thing I've learned in my life, and you guys got to understand, I raised myself, grew up on my own, did my own shit. And I've been through a lot of hell, put up with a lot of bullshit, always had people's backs when they never had mine. I've always been the type of person to help others, even though I get shitted on. And I'm done being a doormat. I'm going to tell you that that much. After this past year of going through the worst shit freaking possible, Never again. I will walk away from anybody or anything that puts me that kind of trauma because nobody deserves that shit. Nobody. And make sure when you are going through anything bad in your life, you talk to your doctor because mental health is just as important as physical health. And you also have to understand depression and anxiety can actually make your pain level go through the roof with chronic pain. It adds to it. Depression adds to physical pain. So mental health, guys, get yourself in check. If you are not doing that great or you're on and off and your levels are all weird or say if you tried to do birth control and now you're getting depressed, you might want to get off that birth control. But there's a new birth control out that has no hormones to it. It's on commercials. I forgot the name of it. If I ever remember, I'll put, you, I'll put it in a video somewhere and tell you guys. Um, but women's birth control have wicked amounts of hormones. And you add it to our hormones. So, you know, people are like, oh, you're moody. No, it's just because my levels are all messed up. It's like when you deal with a teenager, same shit. I think teenagers are worse. I'm not going to lie. But it's like even with my kids, I stress to them about mental health. Because I was a teenager. I was depressed as hell as a teenager. I went through, you guys, 
I would love one day to put out exactly everything I went through. But I know that would cause a lot of shit. And I don't want to deal with the drama. I don't like drama. I don't like to deal with it. I don't like to put up with it. I don't like, nope. Mm -mm. I'm full honest. I don't deal with he said, she said bullshit. I won't deal with any of that. I am straightforward person. And, you know, I treat people the way I would want to be treated. You know, if I'm good to you, I would expect a pack. If you're not, then I walk away. That's, it's just that simple. But after going through what I went through, my mind was completely screwed up. But getting off of the medication, it brings back a lot of triggers. I'm trying to control it. It's not that easy, but I will eventually. I've been putting myself into exercising five times a week. At the gym, I walk everywhere. So, I mean, I did 10,000 steps by noon. But I just try to stay active and do the best that I can. But always care about your guys' quality of life. And know that medications don't just have one usage. There's many usages. And I did not know that I was given out to cancer patients to gain weight rapidly fast. So that kind of sucks. But I can't go back. So does it work great for PTSD, anxiety, and depression? Yes. But do you want to extra gain 40 pounds? Ask yourself that. I mean, if you're stupid skinny and like, like super skinny and you can't gain weight for crap, that medication might be for you because you gain weight like that. Like, I never gained weight so fast in my life. Not even when I was pregnant. It's insane. So now I got to try to burn it off, but I'm still on the medication because I have to wean myself off. And it's going to take a while. So hopefully she gives me the right diet medication. So it'll help me with what I'm already doing. But just want to keep you guys posted on what's been going on. I'll let you guys know my kidney results whenever I know today. Um, hopefully it's good. I don't need any more bad news. But please know to take care of your guys selves. Mind, body, everything. Because if you don't, it affects more things than just your mind. Your mind can affect your health. Your health can affect your mind. Just like when you go through a lot of autoimmune, when people first find out they get depressed and you go through the, like I tell you guys with dentures, you go through the five stages of grieving with anything you go through. Whether you find out you're autoimmune, whether you're getting extractions of full dentures, whether you lose your limbs, it's all five stages of grieving. It doesn't have to be someone's death for that to happen. So make sure you take care of yourself, guys. I love you guys. God bless. Stay safe. Later.